Hey, I'm Robert from Master Guitar Academy. Today I have another triads lesson for you. And you may have noticed that I talk a lot about triads, and for good reason. Triads are simply awesome. They are the chord notes for playing lead guitar, because they are chords. So knowing where they are located on the fretboard is really helpful when you're playing lead guitar. But of course, they are also really helpful for playing rhythm guitar because they are simply chords, but they are three note chords, so they're easy to move around. So today I have an exercise for you for playing a little mini progression, back and forth, two chords, two major triads, back and forth, up and down the neck in three different keys. So being able to find triads up and down the neck in different keys is going to help you have more variation in your rhythm playing. And of course, when you're playing lead guitar, you're going to be able to find those target notes easily for the chords that you're playing over. So that's two benefits by knowing triads. And there's a lot more I could say about triads, but I'll leave that for another time. Now this mini progression that I mentioned is a 1-4 progression. We're going to play the one chord major triad and the four chord major triad. And that's for a good reason, because that mini progression happens in a lot of tunes. I'm sure you heard things like That is an example of a 1-4 mini progression. Alright, so in this exercise we're going to play 1-4 over three different keys. First key of A, then key of D, and then key of E. So let's look at the first chord then. The one chord is of course going to be A major triad. So how do you find the four chord? You simply go up the scale, counting each note by a number. One, two, three, four. And what note is that? Yes, it's D. So the one chord is A major, and the four chord is D major. And what we're going to do here is to play along with the backing track that stays in A the whole time. And that's the cool thing about this mini progression. When the band is playing a major chord, and they stay in there for a while, you can do these kind of moves where you go from one chord to four chord, back and forth. sounds like I'm playing a bunch of chords and a lot of interesting things, but that was an example of only playing A major and D major back and forth. And that always works great when the band is staying on one chord like that. So now go and grab the tablature and notation by clicking the link in the YouTube description. And then you look at that as you go through these voicings. It's going to make it a lot easier for you to follow along. So now let's take a look at these voicings on the fretboard. Let's just call them grips, because that's what they are. And that's the way you should learn them on the fretboard, so that you can find them easily. Alright, so for the key of A, here's the first voicing. Here's the one chord. Four chord. One chord. Four chord. One chord. Four chord. And then one octave higher than what we started with, one chord, four chord. After that, we're going to go to the key of D. And now we're going to use a different string set, which is useful for learning. We're going to use the G, B and E strings. And here is the one chord. Key of D. Now, where is the four chord? How do you know? Well, you count the scale. We're in the key of D now, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four of the major scale is what note? G. So our four chord is going to be G major. One chord. Four chord. One chord. Four chord. One chord. Four chord and one octave higher than we started with, one chord, four chord. 
And now we move to the key of E. And what is the four chord for the key of E? Count up the E major scale. One, two, three, four. Yes, it's A. So now we're gonna use, again, a different string set, which is useful for learning because you're learning triads on different strings up and down the neck. And that is important so that you can find these triads without hesitation, no matter on what strings you're on. So here's one chord. Four chord. One chord. Four chord. One chord. Four chord. One chord, an octave higher than we started with. Four chord. Those are all the voicings. And the way we're going to be playing it is... I'm just going back and forth between one chord and four chord, twice like that. In, first in this position, and then up here, and then up here. And then we have the octave as well. So there's four arrows on the neck. There are really only three that are different, because the fourth one is the same as the first one, just 12 frets above. So we're going to do that for the key of A, the key of D, and the key of E. So let's do it. Right, there you go. How did you like this lesson? Give me a thumbs up, add a comment, and of course subscribe if you haven't already. I actually have a lot of triad exercises on the website, including what we just did here, but in six more keys. I have one where we go from C to F to G, and then one from F sharp, B, and C sharp. So that's good stuff to really know triads in different keys and getting used to this 1-4 movement over diff different string sets and in different keys. Now I also need to tell you about Sound Slice. That's a really, really useful technology that makes it possible to see the video of me playing fingers on fretboard at the same time as you see the tablature or notation on the same screen. really powerful because you can also highlight the section and loop it and slow it down as well so any part of my lessons that you think is difficult to see what's happening you simply highlight it in sound slice view and you from there you can also slow it down if you want and the video and the tablature is going to be synced together super powerful for learning all right thanks so much for checking out this lesson let me know if you have any questions and i will see you later and stay in tune.